Hospital acquired infection is one of the most common yet easily avoided complications that occur during a stay in a healthcare facility. It is costly in terms of human life and can impact both medical and financial resources. In fact, the Joint Commission has mandated that infection rates, as well as their etiologies, be closely monitored and steps taken to prevent their occurrence. This program will look at some of the basic interventions that can be done to protect patients and staff. Precautions, sterile versus clean dressing applications, core measures, and superbugs will be addressed later in this four-part series. Hi, you must be Karina. I'm Susan. You'll be shadowing me today. Hi, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, it's so good to meet you. Have you started your clinical rotations in the hospital yet? Uh, no, actually, this is my first semester in nursing school, so we haven't started in the hospitals. Our clinical rotations start in two weeks. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm ready to take care of patients. Okay, well, that's good to know. We'll start with the basics today. I know you'll enjoy your time here, and it will be a positive experience for you. I can't wait. I have been so excited. Well, let me tell you a little bit about our unit. This is the TCU, or Transplant Care Unit. These are very high acuity patients, so we are staffed like any other intensive care unit. All our patients are either waiting for or have just recently had transplant surgery. Any questions? This unit sounds like it's really challenging. It is. This is Mr. Mason's room. He's one of our patients today. Now, before we go and check on him and see if he needs anything, let me tell you about our unit. Sounds great. Wait! This patient has just had liver transplant. He's on reverse isolation precaution. I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. You should have already touched on it in school. There are different levels of precautions that we use to protect ourselves, the patients, their families, the community. I'm not sure I understand. Do you know about the chain of infection? A little bit, but can you remind me about it? Let's go over it. See the six links here? They all need to be present, and it doesn't matter which one comes first. But for simplicity, we will start at the top. The agent is the pathogen, germ, bug, what have you. So let's say our agent is mm, E. coli. Ugh, nasty little bug. <laughs> exactly. So our agent is E. coli. The reservoir is our own GI tract, the portal of exit. I get it. 